And just like handling our files when we were reading uh, just a normal text file, we can write a file as well. And there are two ways I'm going to show this off. One is to still use the same with block that we're operating off of right now. Just like with the with statement of making phi and loading up our phi as a reading file, we're perfectly capable of doing an open right beside there, separated by a comma. Uh, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and, you know, I won't make it a file path. I'll just call this a new CSV dot CSV. Make that a write as output phi. Same kind of thing has gone on. And once again, uh, just like I would do a reader for my CSV reader, I can do a writer for my CSV writer. And so in this case, now I happen to have two files opened up at the same time. There's one for reading the file, and then there's one for writing the file. Uh, and so in this case, let's say I still want to do the same kind of uh, loading and processing. I still do want to have this that uh, pedal length. So uh, in this case, I'm going to add in uh, writer. Now, if I want to write a row, I just go write row, write row, shaggy. It's funny to me. Now, in here, specifically, I need to specify what columns. And to specify those columns, I give it a list. Now, in my case, I'm only doing one row. But for our sake, let's go ahead and say uh, line at 2 and then line at 3. So now I'm not just writing pedal uh, length, but I'm also doing pedal width. So uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And so as you can see, I've specified, oh, well, this is the first column. This is the second column. Now, uh, again, that's just handling it from that first row. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. Val 1, Val 2. And I'll just use those to represent the values that are going to get printed into our CSV file. So we take this, we run it. And if we were to take a look, you see, oh, there's that new CSV.CSV. And we load that up. Now it is going to add in a new line and there are ways you can process that to specify not to have an end uh, line to this. Um, where are you? There you are. Uh, I believe <clears throat> new line equals blank. Believe that's it. No crashing, so maybe that worked. Let's take a look at it again. There you go. And so you can see, oh, well, that new line, instead of it being, uh, uh, you know, hit enter, we've effectively said, don't hit enter. Just leave it as a blank. Now, this is, again, step one. This is approach one. I don't like to do this all that much. It works, but typically how I like to operate is uh, I don't like to do all of my reading and writing at the same time. I like to have my reading done then process my contents, then write them. Structural differences. So with that in mind, <clears throat> let's convert this to my second approach. So uh, let's see. I'll add that in here for a second. Uh, let's see. So I would like to have a something known as contents equals a square bracket uh, rather than writing that line right away, I'd like to do contents.append <laughs> and add in, let's see, that other square bracket. And then it should be the exact same. I'm just making sure, boom, square bracket, print contents, the first five lines. 
Now, again, the reason why I like to do this is, again, while I'm just printing here, this is where I would typically do my processing if I need to do any type of uh, new function or new um, new columns that I need to be making. I would be doing it here before I write. So just to see that in action, contents of append. Uh, let's see, where are you? Ah, one too many there. There we go. So again, I've just printed out those first five lines. Again, perfectly fine. This is where I would, you can almost imagine what I would be doing here is load the CSV file. And then I'll actually put this on its own cell block. Just insert cell below, process contents. This is where I would be doing that processing state. Uh, so again, I'll read it, I'll process it, and then I would be writing to a new file. So again, in this case, just like we did when we were doing the uh, write rows uh, earlier, we just don't need to do any of the, the processing anymore because we've already loaded it all into memory. That doesn't need to be there, it needs to be down here. And then for row in uh, contents, contents, uh, writer dot write row, row. And it, it, it's my way, you know, both are going to work. Choose which one, you know, looks cleaner to you. Uh, and there you go, writing to a CSV file.